Guess what? It is time for lesson 21, which means we have been doing these lessons for three whole weeks. Congratulations. That's no small feat. They say it takes 21 days to form a habit. And guess what? We've just done 21 days of lessons. So treat yourself, whatever that means to you. All right, how about we get started? I am determined to see things differently. The idea for today is obviously a continuation and an extension of the preceding one. This time, however, specific mind searching periods are necessary in addition to applying the idea to particular situations as they may arise. Five practice periods are urged, allowing a full minute for each. So five sounds like a lot, but it's only one minute, five minutes out of your entire day. It's not too bad. Okay. In the practice periods, begin by repeating the idea to yourself. Then close your eyes and search your mind carefully for situations past, present, or anticipated that arouse anger in you. The anger may take the form of any reaction ranging from mild irritation to rage. So this is kind of like anything that brings you out of peace. No matter how tiny or how big the irritation or anger you feel, all of them matter despite their size. So go with whatever comes to mind. Okay. The degree of the emotion you experience does not matter. You will become increasingly aware that a slight twinge of annoyance is nothing but a veil drawn over intense fury. That's pretty huge. Think about people you know or maybe yourself who suppresses anger and they just kind of have that thing where they get upset about little things but they're just a little annoyed. I've been there. I've done that. All of it counts. And that's not to overwhelm you thinking, gosh, there's like everything that I need to work on. But just to recognize that maybe you say, well, I don't get super angry. Okay, great. That's awesome. But also if you get annoyed, irritated, anything in the spectrum of anger, irritation, fury, rage, those all matter. So don't gloss over this one. Try, therefore, not to let the little thoughts of anger escape you in the practice periods. Remember that you do not really recognize what arouses anger in you, and nothing that you believe in this connection means anything. You will probably be tempted to dwell more on some situations or persons than on others, on the fallacious grounds that they are more obvious. This is not so. It is merely an example of the belief that some forms of attack are more justified than others. Just sit on that sentence for a bit and think about it. Any thoughts come to mind? Okay, let's keep reading. As you search your mind for all the forms in which attack thoughts present themselves, hold each one in mind while you tell yourself, I am determined to see, name of person, differently. I am determined to see, specify the situation, differently. Try to be as specific as possible. You may, for example, focus your anger on a particular attribute of a particular person, believing that the anger is limited to this aspect. If your perception is suffering from this form of distortion, say, I am determined to see, specify the attribute, in, name of person, differently. In studying this course, you learn that the way we perceive the outside world depends on the way we are thinking and the way we think about people and the judgments we have of others and the unforgiveness that we may hold against other people. It can be hard, especially when you feel like that person was so wrong and you were so right or you did nothing wrong and they did everything wrong and how could you possibly forgive them? The thing is, if you want happiness and you want peace, it comes from within. It's not an external thing. It's not like as soon as I get this perfect job or live in this perfect city or have this perfect relationship, then I will be happy. You can have all of those things and still not be happy because the happiness comes from within. And the way we affect that happiness and actually create change is through our thoughts and our perceptions and our judgments and our forgiveness or lack thereof. Each lesson in this course is so purposeful and it is cumulative. So it's really important to go in order. This lesson gets down to the minutia of what annoys you. Look at it as an opportunity to get a little closer to happiness, get a little bit closer to that internal peace. And I don't know, for me right now, creating this video, Sunday is Easter. And what does Easter have? Easter egg hunts because Jesus laid eggs. No. Um, you know, spring fertility. It got all mushed up. But anyway, so I use this analogy because Maybe look at it 
from a positive place of, I'm gonna have an Easter egg hunt of looking for the negative thoughts within my mind. And every time I find that egg or that irritation or annoyance, then I can get rid of it and I get the gift of chocolate or, you know, peace of mind, which is better than any chocolate anyway. Then you get that much closer to that inner peace and that inner happiness that comes from you and it is not affected by what's outside of you. That's when you've really made it, is it doesn't matter who's president, it doesn't matter how much money is in your bank account. If you're still happy, you're happy. And nobody can take that away from you. That's the truth. So have fun with this lesson, and I'll see you tomorrow for lesson 22. Take care. Bye.